Brian has a small swimming pool with a capacity of 25 and one half cubic feet. Brian uses a hose to fill the pool. The water coming out of the hose is filling the pool at a rate of four and one quarter cubic feet per minute. At this rate, how long will it take to fill the pool to capacity? One way to solve this problem is by creating a ratio table. And the two things that we are going to compare in this ratio table is the relationship between cubic feet and time, specifically minutes. And the initial rate that's given is the pool is filling at a rate at four and one quarter cubic feet each minute. So in two minutes, we would just double the amount of cubic feet, which would bring us to eight and one half cubic feet. In three minutes, we would triple four and one quarter, which would give us 12 and three quarters. And in four minutes, we would multiply four and one quarter, which would bring us to 17. In five minutes, we can add another four and one quarter to 17, and that would bring us to 21 and one quarter. And if we add one more minute or a sixth minute, we would add another four and a quarter cubic feet to 21 and one quarter, which would give us 25 and one half. And that is the capacity of the pool. So to reach the pool's capacity, it would take six minutes. So that is our answer. It would take six minutes to fill the pool to capacity. Another way to solve this problem is by taking the capacity of the pool, which is 25 and a half cubic feet, and dividing it by the amount of cubic feet that is filling the pool per minute to see how many minutes it would take to fill to capacity. So 25 and one half can be renamed to 51 halves, and four and one quarter can be renamed to 17 over four. Next, we have to rewrite the problem as 51 halves multiplied by the reciprocal of 17 quarters, which would be four seventeenths. Now we look for any opportunities to use cancellation, and 17 is common to 51 and 17. 17 can go into itself one time, and 17 goes into 51 three times. And two is the greatest common factor of two and four, so two goes into two one time, and two goes into four two times. So for the remaining numerators, we have a three and a two, which gives us a product of six, and both denominators are one, so that's going to yield a product of one. And we can simplify six over one, and that would give us six. So we have figured out that it would take six minutes to fill this pool to capacity.